The sound you are currently hearing is a very sick sounding GPU fan. I have an NVIDIA GeForce GT610 that drives that monitor and that monitor and my desk setup. And well, it doesn't sound very happy. Um, right now that GPU sounds incredibly bad and I can just only attempt to try to check what it's doing in the, to the thermals. But the fan is not rightly at full performance. And little by little, it's actually throttling the fan downwards. This is due to bad bearings. Now, this might seem like a much more serious issue, but believe it or not, it's not as bad as it might seem. Um, although, let's check out our temperature. So our temperatures are staying at around 34 degrees Celsius, which is 35, 34-ish. It's not bad. Um, it's definitely not fantastic. But it does appear that the GPU is rising a little bit. Now, the G4 600 series has, like, one hell of a, of like a freaking um, tolerance to heat. I mean, like, this thing could run hot as all balls and still really push on a performance. It's quite impressive. As you can see, this little GT610 does have a pretty decent overclock in her done. As you can see, the core clock has been upscaled pretty high. Um... And of course, my 750 Ti's clock is only about 200 megahertz. I just criminally clocked this guy up to compete with the other GPU. Now, this is a pretty bad problem because one, I do not want to hear that goddamn thing ring all the time. Two, like as you can hear, it's getting worse and worse and worse. So, I have to some upgrades to do to my PC anyhow. Let's go ahead and get them done. We'll shut down my machine here. And I'm probably going to fix that video card anyhow, so it's not really a big issue. I mean, so, it's not really something I care too much about. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy disassembled and ready to get the new card in. Alright, so we're going to be replacing the current GT610 in there with one of these. Before anyone says shit, I have literally 15 of these. These are the brand new ones I have. I literally have a friend that works for Asus that practically gives these to me for a very low price. So, having that is not really a concern to me. But, uh, I'm not really, I never had really good airflow in this case when it came to cooling this GT610. But, uh, oh yeah. Fan's not spinning like it should. So there's definitely something prop, there's definitely a problem with the bearings of this card. Um, now, there are ways to fix this. I mean, like, from the looks of it, it might look like this takes a custom cooler. So I'll probably just put this in a machine that I don't really give a crap about sound. But otherwise, I want a machine that's silent. I mean, hearing this card is extremely annoying. It's, it seems to work and cool itself down with that tiny heatsink very well, but it's super loud and super annoying. And I don't like it. I mean, like, I don't like it one bit. But I do have this. This is basically the same card. Except it's the Asus, like, uh, Super Cool Edition. They're all the same as the, uh, the Asus cards look all the same. Probably take out this USB 2 card and I'll put it over here or something. Um, I do have a USB 2 card in the system. I thought I was going to use it, but I ended up not using it. So it's kind of a useless point on my end. Let's get it in there. Is it in there? Well, it's not. It's not in there. So why is it... Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, I've got my 750 Ti right here. Now, I wanted to actually upgrade to a 970. Um, now, I thought it was kind of a stupid idea, but I thought about it a little bit more and more. And I was highly considering of upgrading to a 970. But to be honest, all fair and honest with you guys, I wouldn't really have a use for a 970. And the reason why is because, well, I don't really do that many intensive games that require that much of a GPU. So a 970 in my case would be a little bit overkill, in my case at least. There we go, we got the uh, GT610 I'll put in place here. So yeah, there we go. Looks nice, and it's going to work a lot nicer now that we got that in place. So, this GT610 is absolutely silent, we're not going to hear crap out of it. I only put this one in the bag, so I seal it up so I can keep this one in the bag. 
And like I said, I have a bunch of these, so like I said, these are not a concern that I'm wasting these. I have like literally 15 of them that are in these bags, so it's not an issue whatsoever. Um, for those who are wondering, yes, I have one of these on this computer before. Uh, the reason why I took it out was because I didn't feel, I felt that it was actually causing a problem with the 750Ti, where the 750Ti would actually just cut out the monitors, and it would crash all everything that was running, but it would recover. So I thought that that was a problem. I looked into it more, and I couldn't exactly find out why on earth it was doing it. So I'm back here again. Um, actually, you know what I probably might do? I might just take the, uh, I don't know if I really want to go that far, but I might just take the 750Ti and put it up above for better airflow. Yeah, I'm going to do that because it'll get much better airflow. Probably seems like a much smarter idea. Here, I'm going to put the camera down to take this out. Or maybe I might do this one-handed. Who knows, I might just break the damn thing. Yeah, I might break it. Hold on. I'm going to put the camera down for this. All right, there we go. I'm like, I have two of these, one in a uh, Dell Optiplex system I have with the Core i5. So yeah, this is a nice card, I'm not going to lie with you guys. For an older card, it's really nice, and it does the, a really good job of cooling off. Um, which is ironic, because even though I don't really use this card that much, it's still really good. I'm going to plop it in there, and we'll plop the GT610 in here. Now, I feel that this is mainly, the, what I'm doing now is the main reason I had power concern issues. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I should do this, but, well, bada bing bada boom, it's already done, so. And I might actually like this because there is a fan right here that blow, will blow air across here. Not only that, but this guy will, will be able to somewhat breathe. So, it's not that much of an issue. I do need to put a fan back here, which is something I'm going to have to do. And the reason why I need to put a fan back there is because, well, um, these kind of cards don't really ventilate themselves that well. So, because they just push air around the case. It keeps the card cool, but it pushes air around the case. So, I might just go for maybe spring. Maybe I might just set up this fan to, instead of blowing in as an intake, get it blow as an outtake. Basically blowing a bunch of air out. I mean, like, it's okay for what this machine was designed for I think the cooling and these Dell BTX systems were thought about because how this works is because the master fan that blows a BTX system that is a custom heatsink by the way I put that in in my uh, overclocking guide in the overclocking video that is a massive heatsink and trust me it helps a lot in temps I stay around 30 30 to well, I'd say maybe 30 to 20 Celsius with that beefy heatsink with a 3 gigahertz Xeon so I definitely say it helped out a lot when it comes to cooling performance. I would not complain with that system whatsoever. Alright, we got the case back on. And now I feel that we should probably go ahead and um, put the system back and we'll see what it does.